This Super Bowl DFS and novelty props edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by MyBookie.ag. MyBookie is your home for the Super Bowl. Use the promo code SGP and get up to $1,000 in free bets. That's MyBookie.ag, promo code SGP, to play, win, and get paid at MyBookie. We're also brought to you by DraftKings. Download the DraftKings app now and use code SGP during signup. For a limited time, all new users will get a free shot at $1 million with your first deposit. That's code SGP and get a free shot at $1 million with your first deposit only at DraftKings. We're also brought to you by Ace Per Head. Ace is the leader in pay per head providers and they make it super easy to start your own sportsbook. Plus, Ace is offering up to six weeks free over at aceperhead.com slash SGP. That's aceperhead.com slash SGP. We're also brought to you by Prop Swap. PropSwap is America's marketplace to buy and sell sports bets. Go to PropSwap.com to find better odds than your local sportsbook. Plus, when you use the promo code SGP, you get a 100% deposit bonus up to $100. That's PropSwap.com, promo code SGP. Finally, we're brought to you by Manscaped. Manscaped is number one in men's below the belt grooming. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code SGP at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code SGP. Woo! Welcome everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan, real money Kramer. What's happening? Kramer dog. Super Bowl, Sean. It's Sunday night. Yes, we're we're coming to you early, Sean. You called me up on the telephone. Yes. You picked up the telephone. It doesn't work the same as it used to. But you picked up the <laughs> telephone and you rang me and you said, "We it's Super Bowl week. Three podcasts not acceptable. We need to get a a jump on the week." Yes. So we're here Sunday night. Yeah, Sunday night in the uh, sports gambling podcast layer here. Unfortunately, Super Bowl week got off to a, uh, I mean, crazy day in sports. Kobe Bryant. I'm sure everyone who's listening to this podcast has already heard the news. Kobe Bryant died tragically in a helicopter crash with his daughter, and uh, it sounded like another parent and his daughter, and then of course the pilot. But yeah, I mean, what a weird way to start off uh, Sunday. I just picked my wife up from the airport, and then. I open up Twitter and I see people like tweeting oh, Kobe Bryant uh, helicopter crash. I saw TMZ reported it. And yeah, I think uh, like everyone else just completely shocked. And uh, yeah, I mean, super sad. I, I don't know what else to say. Kobe Bryant. I wasn't a huge Lakers fan, but you got to respect that dude's hustle is the determination. Like he was the closest to Jordan when, especially when it comes to the killer instinct, like just literally when he told the Sixers fans he was going to rip their heart out in the playoffs, and unfortunately he did that, uh, you got to respect that dude. He was a he was a grinder top to bottom, and uh, yeah, crazy uh, crazy way to go out, man. I mean, his la- the last thing he ever tweeted tweeted will be congratulating LeBron James for passing him. Uh, he he just, it's insane. I mean, it's the first athlete that I grew up with. That's. That's I think I, I I couldn't think of anyone else, for sure, and, and you know I I texted you Sean that this was a sneaky massive like festival stop on the Kramer FML tour. Not to make it about me, because <laughs> but, bro, well that is is a part of the creepy process. I am gonna, finding an <laughs> angle to make it about yourself, and, and it is important to laugh. But holy shit, like Kobe was I was on the I was an East Coast guy. I was a Knicks guy. Yep. But I found that as I uh, as I got older uh, into high school, I, I was definitely a Kobe. I, I I definitely liked Kobe. Kobe was one of those guys that was hated on the East Coast. It's hard to understand it unless you live there. But Kobe was hated. Yeah. He he. There was just something about him that everyone just just hated. And, and we we and yeah. I was on the wrong side of that. I was definitely going for the heel. As you know, Sean, I like to be Ooh. contrarian yeah. in life as well. <laughs> and I was definitely playing the contrarian angle there, but I I was uh I was legitimately bummed out. I I'll tell you that. And and as someone who uh is participates in youth sports, you know what I did part of my weekend this weekend was finding my kids a ride to their soccer games next Sunday that are during the Super Bowl. 
that I'm obviously not attending. Yeah, you can come at me if you think I'm a bad parent. I'm not missing the Super Bowl. I've been telling everyone it's a work day for me. Yeah, it Gotta is. Gotta be on air. We're gonna but, we're gonna be doing our pregame periscope. I mean, essentially what happened is these guys were going to a youth basketball game and the and and they got into a car accident. Except for the car was a helicopter. Yeah. And not to make it about helicopters, but pro- if Freaking this was a car, dangerous. I don't we wouldn't be talking like this and uh, hopefully and, and it's so you know maybe take your kids to the sporting events in a car i don't i don't think we probably i don't i don't uh i'm not sending my kids in the helicopter <laughs> next weekend that's for sure i can't imagine a lot of uh i'm our drinking listeners. i'm drinking whiskey though yeah it does it does uh yeah little toast to uh the mamba black mamba kobe bryant salud and uh yeah i mean amazing career dude was a grinder yeah i mean that uh, as if it wouldn't be sad enough, he's taking his daughter to her game. He's, I, I think as a sports fan, you look back and you, if you had a dad around or an uncle or whoever, like who would take you to your games and coach your teams. Like uh, it's such a great bonding thing. And uh, yeah, super unfortunate. So RIP Kobe Bryant. It, it, it really, it's one of the saddest sports stories of all time. And it's unfortunate because it's really stealing the thunder, rightly so, of one of the funnier uh, sports viral things in a long time, and that was Kawhi Leonard <laughs> at the strip club oh, wearing his wearing his New Balance sweatshirt and just getting a lap dance. Uh, I I tweeted it out over at Gambling Podcast hashtag Load Management. <laughs> oh man, to get filmed in the strip club that is just that is just not a good time. I I don't yeah I don't want anyone to think that this is insensitive but if you if you were to cue the x-files music right about now this horrible <laughs> this hor- <laughs> no kramer you're killing me with the uh with your with your pounding on the i'm desk. sorry i'm I sorry don't, maybe maybe it's been joe judge you feel like you have to have <laughs> oh. your own own gavel all right uh gave the shout out to Col- or i almost said colby uh gave the shout out to kobe again jesus christ the local newscasters did a horrible job today uh well and i, again, I listened to ktla repeatedly referred to kobe as lebron uh, <laughs> yeah, i did and- catch that <laughs> and then there was a there was a super unfortunate uh slip of the tongue by a woman on slip msnbc i don't even feel uh okay playing the clip but if you go to at gambling podcast did retweet it uh she accidentally combined in her head knicks and lakers and uh formed a word that you should not be using on uh on television at all all right can we as a people just agree if you accidentally say i mean there's nothing there's no reason to ever even say a word that sounds like that word Really came out of nowhere. No one says their ends like their B's and mistakes. I mean, come on. Come on, Ryan. We're here to talk about the Super Bowl. This Sunday, Chiefs 49ers. I'm getting the juices flowing. I'll save the I'll, I think I'll save the Super Bowl song for the for the Thursday picks podcast. We're going to be talking DFS today. Some novelty props going to bring on our boy uh, Chris Giordani. He'll help us uh, with a, uh, a DFS lineup, but man, they got it all over at mybookie.ag. You want your own custom prop? You want a Ryan Kramer prop bet? All you got to do is tweet at betmybookie your own custom prop bet. They will come up with the line. Now, this isn't their, you know, they already have that sweet uh, prop generator where you can just come up with any sort of over and under you want. And again, look to that sometimes because you might even get a better price than these standard over-unders they they have uh, in the prop market there. But any sort of wild prop bet you want, tweet them at BetMyBookie. And, of course, if you're uh, signing up over at MyBookie.ag, use the promo code SGP. Take up to $1,000 in bonus bets. Ryan, you know what that sound is? That's the sound of us cashing in on the Pro Bowl. Hit the over in the Pro Bowl. That was that was the highlight of today. The, the, the you know needed some positivity, cashing that Pro Bowl over. It was only fifty one and a half. I knew that was too low. Everyone got thrown off the scent of the Pro Bowl when it, last year it was twenty six to seven. Uh, you knew the scoring was going to come back. We had defensive scoring. We had Fletcher Cox rumbling. That was 
and rarely is the Pro Bowl entertaining, but uh, when the NFC team intercepted it and then they pitched it to Fletcher Cox, and then uh, the like the receivers are coming up trying to. If you watch the Pro Bowl, they're doing this move now where they kind of just wrap guys up and then they stop. Which Fletcher Cox was not stopping. He, he was <laughs> like, "If you want to tackle me, you gotta long Cox. You gotta fucking tackle me." And no one did, and he rumbled in for a touchdown. Two defensive scores in the Pro Bowl. Can we? Can the NFL be a little more proactive about how we answer the question of what is that? When, when I got a kid that walks in and it's like, "Hey, what what sport is this? What are they do? Why aren't they tackling? What is this?" Oh. <laughs> I can't explain it. And they've never, they've, there's never been any sort of thing where it goes, Hey, it's just touch football this year. They have <laughs> just kind of worked it in except every once in a while a player, especially on the defensive side, just now I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to just be tackled by getting wrapped up. Yeah. And shout out to me this morning for <laughs> tweeting out that show. Oh Sean, I even went as far to set a reminder on my phone. Wow. To tweet out a happy Pro Bowl, Bowl Pro Bowl Day video with Sean Taylor, man, like that—that that was a Pro Bowl hit. That would have been a suspension in a in a playoff game. Yeah, and you made a great point. Uh, you said not only did the the punter just get freaking destroyed, but no he penalty. gets right back up. There's no penalty, and he gets right back up. He's he's just uh, yeah. I mean, the dude's freaking fired Even the up. punters were grown men back then. There was a simpler time, back, Ryan. Back then. We're getting old, dude. We are getting old, Ryan, but we're never too old to give away cold, hard cash. Let's do it. Super Bowl squares. Mm. Our Super Bowl squares contest taking off. All you got to do, send in a, uh, do a five-star rating and review on iTunes. Take a screenshot of it. Send it in to contest at Sports Gambling Podcast. And you'll get your spot in our uh, Super Bowl Squares contest, giving away a thousand dollars. Oh my god! And uh, can't wait. I mean, uh, I almost want to send in a five-star review just so I can take part with the listeners. I but... did. I did. Oh, you did. I, apparently, I'm not eligible. Oh, really? Okay. Eligibility restrictions apply. But if you've already done a five-star review, like a good listener, not like a freeloader, find another <laughs> iPhone. Your kid's got an iPad. You've been to the Mac store. Come yeah. on, there are opportunities. Hey, if you're if you're a boss, hey, you want a you want an extra fifteen minute smoke break? Give me your phone. <laughs> Give me your phone, young teen who wants to vape on the job. I will say, I did I did instruct the the little ones to subscribe to the podcast and as many iPads as possible <laughs> at the Apple. If you store. ever see this, girls, this logo, hit subscribe. And if that wasn't enough. This is the last game of the free roll football contest no. presented by bet spurts, where we're giving away thousands upon thousands of prizes. I think 3,500 yeah. is the total. It seems as if we have a winner, but I don't want to ruin it. I'll save it for the uh, Super Bowl show, but it, I did. I took a look at the, the rankings and it was a, uh, it was a long time guy. He's been listening to the podcast. I think we sent him one of the original t-shirts He's uh he's a great dude from down south, so I'm super happy that he won. But we'll we'll save this the official reveal for uh for once once the games have been played. But it, it seems like he's locked it up, and he's uh I mean that's a serious amount of cash. How, how many people are out there with an old school, an OG SGP? T-shirt? They're vintage. They're vintage. I know everyone's scooping up the uh, Lock Dog Tees T-shirts. Yeah, it's Super Bowl week. We got to see them. So I, I think we'll, we need to challenge people. I know Zim Zum will send send in a picture. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure of that. But I don't know who else has one. Yeah, if you have an old one, send it in. Maybe we'll hook you up with the new Lock Dog Tees. To, to be clear, don't send the T-shirt in. Just send a picture <laughs> of you wearing the T-shirt. Wearing the T-shirt out there promoting. Brian, you said it's Super Bowl week. Did a little uh, extra homework here to. Uh, Amp up the Super Bowl energy, and here it is. Touchdown, Kansas City! You're listening to the Super Bowl week on the Sports Gambling Podcast Network. He's gone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Hashtag Dejans only. Oh man, it's going to be a high-scoring game. We're going to have a chance of uh, making a run at this thing. Fired up to go to Miami. Ready to roll. Let it ride. Hell yeah! 
Dude, get, a, uh, get some professional VO talent in here, Ryan. Oh, that wasn't you. I thought no. you just had some honey and lemon. <laughs> went to went to town. Uh, it was pretty awesome. So I I sent the guy the script, and he does one take, and yeah, it's good. But he does <laughs> does mispronounce one important part, and I've isolated it. I think it could be a, a drop in and of itself. So here it is. Hashtag Dejans only. <laughs> Dejins. Yeah. Well. Hashtag Dejins only. <laughs> Dejins. Uh, like uh, dead dungeons and dungeons Dejins and, and Dejins? dragons. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, personally, that's just it's just great comedy for me, Ryan. Yeah, I'm gonna eat your Dejins for lunch. <laughs> what do we got going on here? Oh yeah, we're about to uh, break down our DFS lineup. But before we do, let's talk Draft Kings Super Bowl 54. Oh, man. So jacked up for the Super Bowl. This is great. Well, we're getting four days of podcasting and talk counting down to the Super Bowl. You got that single game showdown lineup. They're giving away $1 million. New users who sign up today and use that code SGP, they have a free shot at the $1 million top prize. Of course, if you're an existing user like myself, a user who won two hundred thousand dollars, and a lot of people, Ryan, you, we were looking at our uh, website traffic, and there was someone had Googled, "Do people <laughs> actually win DraftKings?" And of course, my blog came up. So yes, people do win in DraftKings. I'm living proof. I got a sweet truck. Do uh, people actually <laughs> win DraftKings? Yeah, they really do. I know it's too good to believe that right now. If you've never played DraftKings, now is the time to start. I got to get my dad in on it. I think I may sign my wife's phone up. Oh, nice. Completely free for new users. The uh, $1 million, sh the free shot at $1 million. Get in on that Super Bowl 54 action. Download the DraftKings app. Enter code SGP at sign up. That's code SGP. Get a free shot at $1 million with your first deposit only at DraftKings. Minimum $5 deposit required. Eligibility restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com for details. Joining us on the line, DFS expert, DFS insider for the sports gambling podcast.com. Chris Giordani. Chris, thanks for calling in, man. Happy Super Bowl week. Happy Super Bowl week to you guys too. I appreciate having me on again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, after that, uh, after you threw out that Ferks or, uh, uh, toss last time I was like we got to get him back this kid's got a little <laughs> bit of mojo he's got a little bit of heat that's what these, got with these DraftKings showdowns especially you got to find that like one guy that's going to be like 2,000 3,000 that's really gonna you know I don't know really pop for you oh yeah especially you're going for any part of that the million chunk, I guess, in the in the big one, you know. So you got to differentiate, and I have I have a dart throw for us in this one as well. So oh, yeah, love it. We'll, we'll see. Do you have yeah, a uh, absolutely? Since it's just showdown slates, because uh, it's just one game. Unfortunately, there is only one game left of football. As scary as that sounds. Do you play like a bunch of 50 fifties and then have a mix? I know you're, you're like, I usually just play a couple of the millionaire makers. I'll do maybe a couple head to heads, but like, do you have a, uh, how many, how many, I guess, lineups or games do you have going in something like this? So I actually, I, don't do the wise thing or as wisely suggested by some in balancing out with cash games, uh, you know, the 50 fifties, any of those that, you know, you have a higher chance of winning, but they pay out much less. I yeah. don't, I really <laughs> don't touch any of those. I, I go all GPP all the time and that just, so that's why I'm really into a lot of contrarian plays often. You'll see in the articles I write up over at sports gambling podcast.com. I, you know, not not just advocate the contrarian play just because it is one, but it's about finding the angle and the leverage there in it to be able to win some good money with a small investment, you know, just depending on how much you put in. And so on that <laughs> on that question, I I like to do at least one twenty max, uh, whether it be the one dollar or if I want to pay up and do the the four dollar, the three dollar. And then, yeah, and then I get a couple of entries into the Millie Maker, of course. So, yeah, <laughs> I, I think uh, I think for me, I'm the lineup I'm, we're about to break down. I think this one I'm going to lean kind of KC, 
with a little bit of San Francisco, but then I think I'm going to also play an alternate version where I have a San Francisco captain and then, and lean San Francisco there. If I could just crowbar into this, uh, I don't know this, there's, there's some chemistry being built right here because Chris, I got to say, if there's a couple ways to get Sean (laughs) stacking the money green smiling, (laughs) it's, it's plugging the brand yeah, and the way that you got that nice sports gambling podcast.com plug in there. And previously throughout a dart throw tight Mm. end, a tight end. Yeah. Oh, and he was open for that. (laughs) He was open for another touchdown, which really would have swung. I would have hit that Tennessee seven and a half. I'm convinced it could, it could have really, it really could have changed some things. I remember that one. Yeah. Yeah. He had, he had a beat. I I couldn't tell if it was Ferkster just doesn't have that breakaway speed, but he beat his man and it's just this white tight end running down the sideline wide open. And I, I I saw it live before Tannehill threw it. And I just got up and yelled Ferkster. Yep. I I still don't know (laughs) if that's how you pronounce his name, but I, I, it was a nice ride there with Ferkster highlight of the, of the player prop uh, so far. Do you, do you have a plan as far as uh, player props? Are you gonna are you gonna dabble with those a bunch online? Well, now that I don't have Ferkser anymore, it's kind of sad because <laughs> I I did go for the anytime touchdown again with him on the last game and it paid off at the end. And so, but yeah, but sadly he's not in this one. But I am gonna go with one of my plays that I will get into here. Uh, that will be a touchdown prop, um, but nice. Anyways, yeah, it's we, a it's another tight end that we uh, spoke about last time. Ooh, I think, and uh, I, I I do think I know who you got, and I considered tossing him in. We'll see. Uh, I'm sure I'll figure out a way to get him in at some point. All right, enough uh, messing around. Let's let's actually give out this lineup. Kramer, who is starting in your captain seat? Well, Sean, do I need to have the the truck backing up sound effect ready? Yes, you do. Okay. Because, you know, I went back and I, w- I was I was watching the tape. It's Super Bowl week. <laughs> I'm doing my prep work. I actually did a decent amount of prep work for this. I went all the way back to the fantasy football preview. I'm like, I got to get ready. We're having Chris back on. I got I to gotta impress him with some smart picks. So I took it all the way back to our fantasy preview where you just couldn't help yourself but talk a load of shit on George Kittle oh, all God. because he won some meaningless popularity contest award over your buddy, Zach Ertz. No, all pro and, is a big deal. And that was the Ertz should have got it over. All right. So a season removed from those statements. Yes. George Kittle is a monster out there. He definitely deserved it. You were wrong. No. And for all of for, for wronging Sean stack in the money green. I apologize if I was hitting the table, Sean. I got this nice new watch over here. Oh, yeah. But I'm putting George Kittle in the captain's chair. He's been very quiet this offseason so far, or this postseason so far. And he's not going to be quiet the whole playoffs. He's not going to finish the playoffs. with how How many catches does he have? Four catches, 35 yards so far. Certainly... You would think coming into this game that San Francisco is going to throw the ball more than eight times and that George Kittle will catch. I mean, you look at it from a, uh, you know, percentage wise, maybe that's not that crazy. One out of six completions, but uh, I, I, I agree with you that Kittle probably would be involved, but who knows? Maybe they just run the ball 40 times. I I guess it depends how you kind of see the game flow going, but you're starting off with George Kittle in the captain's chair. And I'll tell you this, Sean. The powers of the Kramer FML are so strong. Ooh. As you know, I did I did take some Chiefs or I'm sorry, some Mahomes plus one forty to win the MVP. So I kinda have some Chiefs action already. I think I'll end up being on the 49ers though. I don't want to tease my pick. Wow. But the Kramer FML tour is so strong. That's the only way it ends. <laughs> it's by winning the Super Bowl. The only team we were certain we were going to fade come playoff time was Jimmy Garoppolo. We really did talk a ton of shit on Jimmy Garoppolo, but I, in our defense, I think we're right. Like I, I think this team isn't winning because of Jimmy Garoppolo. They're almost winning in spite of him, but they're, no, know, they're he's the well. quarterback of the team uh, as much, as much as he I threw the ball six <laughs> times or he completed six passes. 
Yeah. You can't act like he's putting the team on his back. He's being clearly outshined by Ryan Tannehill. <laughs> All right. Uh, Chris, what are you doing in your captain seat? Well, I'm glad I actually backed off of what I did have in there because it would have been almost like I was copying Kramer again. Yes. Uh, <laughs> but uh, anyways, because I, I do like that Kittle play, but I am going to go the chalk route of Pat Mahomes. I am now a believer. He Showtime was, Mahomes. <laughs> yep. 23 for 35, 294 passing, three passing touchdowns, a rushing touchdown. I mean, yeah, it's it's pretty tough, and especially the I did take a, a prop on him. Now that you did mention props a little bit ago here, uh, I went with plus thirty three hundred that Mahomes had scored two or more touchdowns, and so Ooh. I after Ooh. seeing him rush like he has been, I and that being a weakness for the San Fran defense, I could see it happening. So yeah. why not? Yeah, I mean rush yards definitely make thirty three to one. He gets two rushing touchdowns. That's certainly. Or he catches a like re- like Sammy Watkins on the reverse pass. The uh, KC the barbecue special, in honor of uh, Andy Reid. Sean, again, I don't want to tease ahead. What am I? But I'm I'm looking real close. Sources close to the situation would tell you I'm looking real closely at a Sammy Watkins to throw a pass prop. Oh. oh man, there's so many. Uh, my <laughs> my brain is officially stimulated All when right. it comes to the amount of action I'm already placing in my head. <laughs> I'll get to my captain, and he is Travis Kelsey, mm. a, the tight end, obviously, for the Kansas City Chiefs. I went and looked at San Francisco's losses, and uh, they had a loss to the Seahawks and a loss to the Ravens. And you could get, there, are, there are a lot of, um, I don't know, there's some similarities. Or no, sorry, uh, I said that the wrong way. Kansas City beat uh, the Ravens, right? And that was a team that uh that San Francisco lost to. Anyway, the San Francisco defense uh they gave up a uh 8 yards or sorry, 8 catches, 62 yards and a touchdown to uh the Seattle tight end. What's it uh Disley? I'm I'm blanking on his name. My brain's my brain got officially got fried. And then uh Andrews, they gave up 3 catches, 50 yards and a touchdown. I think I think Kelsey is the guy that's really going to do the damage. Now they've had some trouble with the deep ball, but Jimmy Graham was like open down the seam and that I don't think they were playing prevent. If they were, that was horrible. There was opportunities. I, I don't know. I, I think a lot of it was Rogers just being like afraid to pull the trigger. I don't know what was going on there, but I, I think Kelsey is going to have a huge game. Throw him in the captain's chair. Jacob Hollister is the name you were searching for. Yeah. Sorry. And Again. yes, they have struggled against the tight end in the postseason. They have. We'll, we'll see if that continues. Kramer, what are you doing for your uh, first flex spot? Yeah, I, can't, I mean, just ch- let's check in with Bill Burr one more time. Showtime, my home. I, how do, I mean, I understand. Here's the thing with being contrarian, right? I like being contrarian, but you also you sometimes you just gotta you gotta make sure you get a piece of whatever well, they're gonna and, put and, out there because a guy like Mahomes is gonna. He, I think the legitimate floor in this one is probably in the 20 I'll say 22. Yeah. But he's it's not going to be that. I I I you can't not play him. Give me Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, and I think as far as the level of contrarian, it's one maybe two out of these six guys or who you stack in your captain seat. That's where you find your levels of contrarian cuz you can't just have like six guys that are all $2000. That's that's insane. Like I you play, gotta have some of these studs in there. I played a lineup where I got uh Kelsey Hill, all the receivers in there. Really? No Mahomes though. Just see, all yeah, I always, I always have one of the quarterbacks at least, or a lot of times I put two quarterbacks. There's, anyway, there's really a lot of ways to Patrick Mahomes approach these showdown. Twelve thousand six hundred. What are you doing for your, uh, your first guy there in the flex spot, Chris? I, I am going with Damian Williams, and he could be, I think, just uh, one of the keys to beating the Niners based on them being a, having a slight weakness in the rushing defense department, uh, being 11th rushing overall in the DVOA category, and then Damian Williams also being multifaceted, almost having 100 all-purpose yards last game. I, I think he could do it, and I'm not going to put him in the captain spot if it was just a single entry, but I do like him in my utility spot. Yeah, and uh, I, we gave it out on the, on the Periscope or the podcast, but over on uh... – Aaron Jones's catches uh, mm. last week. That was pretty, or two weeks ago now, almost. 
Uh, that was pretty easy. So yeah, five, he had five catches for only for 27 yards, but he had a touchdown. Didn't do a ton. Um, you know, but yeah, I think he had two touchdowns overall. So yeah, that's, that's a good point. Maybe, uh, maybe get some pass catching going. I mean, Andy Reed loves doing that. And, uh, I could see the San Francisco defense playing back to avoid Hill and the deep ball and maybe stuff over the middle with, uh, Kelsey and, uh, you know, some Williams out of the backfield. I went Mahomes again, 12,600, uh, Chris threw it out there, but I, I was doing a little, uh, little, little digging here for some mm. info, San Francisco third in the league, as far as uh, amount of QB rush yards allowed third. So there's only two teams that are worse at stopping the quarterback from really? running the ball. We've seen a renaissance of Patrick Mahomes when it comes to rushing. Clearly that knee's not bothering him. Or if it is, he realizes this is my time. This is my yeah. time to shine. My back's against the wall. Andy Reid needs a, <laughs> needs a super bowl. We're going all in. So yeah, I, I think rushing yards could be huge for Mahomes. It'll be interesting to see if guys like Bosa and they have some athletic guys on that defensive line, if they can kind of contain Mahomes, I think it, I think that really hurts Kansas city, but I'm going to roll with Mahomes uh, rushing yards. Kramer, what are you doing for your third spot? Uh, I mean, I'm lockstep with the Travis Kelsey angle. I, I have another lineup with, with him in as my captain. Uh, I just, he's such a monster and he can control a game. And I, I do, while I do think the way that Mahomes could make the difference in this game, will will be stretching the field against those corners. And I think the fact that everyone's fast is going to make it really hard to defend. And I think, you know, Andy Reed is a smart coach and he understands that when everyone's zigging, he's going to zag. And he understands Kelsey is the bell cow. Kelsey gets him this trophy they go to Kelsey early and off in 9,600 for Mr. Travis Kelsey. And, of course, Sean will let you know this later, brother of Pro Bowl center. Yeah. And uh, Jason Kelsey. Jason's so there supporting not? him, giving him, <laughs> giving him some uh, inside tips on the, on what you should do and how you can handle yourself. Uh, so, yeah, he's he's giving you a little inside knowledge there. Hungry, <laughs> he's explaining how hungry dogs run faster. They do, they do. Ryan, while you were talking about that, I, my, my brain was starting to be triggered as to all the different bets, and I forgot one of our favorite bets of all time, yep. and that is betting both quarterbacks first pass incomplete. Yes, sir. Last year, both of them hit, uh, and it was sweet. Right now, Jimmy G and... Uh, Patrick Mahomes first pass incomplete. They're both listed at plus one sixty five. Oh wow! And I think I Th think that's actually quite low. They've they've definitely lowered it, cause, probably because they listen to the podcast and yeah. you know they're tired of us killing them. But I, you may even be able to parlay those. I got to check it out over at uh, my bookie. But yeah, that's normally they're a little higher. Maybe maybe wait for uh, them to get bet up. But with with a total bag of dicks like Jimmy G and a, a guy who's willing to take a risk like Patrick Mahomes. You never know. Super anyway. stud. Anyway, I'm sorry, Sean. Who's your third, uh, third guy here in your lineup, Chris. I am going to go with Jimmy Garoppolo at $8,000. You know, I, I think they're going to have to throw the ball. That's pretty obvious. And he's got the weapons with Debo E Sanders and Kittle. So, and also KC also allowed a three eighty eight. And two touchdowns to Watson in the divisional game. So, you know, I, in a big stage. And I think Garoppolo can do that. At least it gets you through. I'm going to go Garoppolo third spot. Yeah, I keep I keep going back and forth between him and uh, Sammy Watkins. Similar price point. But for my next guy, give me George Kittle. I know, Kramer, I talked a tremendous amount of shit on him early in the seasons. Early in the season. But I love the matchup. The Chiefs, they gave up the fifth most in the league as far as draft king uh, points to the tight end position. That is uh, that is trouble when you got George Kittle. They're going to have to be – they're going to have to throw the ball at some point. I, I think if Kansas City jumps out to elite, which they could, they're going to have to play catch up. And uh, Kittle is just a matchup nightmare, much like Travis Kelsey. How could you not throw Kittle in your lineup at $8,400? That seems pretty low for a guy who – probably is the is the number one receiver there I don't I'm not sure I I'm I mean I understand it he's he's been but the, the price the price points all wrong Sean that's why he's in the captain seat yeah maybe that's the move but I'll, I'll go I'll go Kelsey uh for my captain oh, what's this 
Well, Ryan, before we uh, finish up the second half of our uh, DraftKings lineup, it's the Super Bowl, baby. Instead of uh, losing money in the Super Bowl, why not become your own sports book? The Super Bowl, perfect time to hop in the action and start your own online sports betting site. Are you kidding me? 2020, it's the year you become a small business owner and operator. They get you set up with an all-inclusive professional betting site with all the lines updated second wager is graded immediately. And again, if you're, if you're taking people's action for the super bowl, you want people to have a great mobile experience. You want people to be able to bet live. They can do that. If you're set up over at aceperhead.com and make sure you go to aceperhead.com slash SGP. That's aceperhead.com slash SGP. Get up to six weeks free 24 seven customer support. And again, some of the sharpest in lines in the industry, aceperhead.com slash SGP. What are you doing? Second half DraftKings lineup here, Kramer. Well, Sean, uh, I thought I was going to be real slick with mm. this next guy, but it looks like once again, I'm lockstep with an expert. Sean, by the way, the guy I remember who won 200 K yes. Sean stacking the money green. Mm-hmm. He didn't have all these numbers coming out of his <laughs> mouth. Uh, Jimmy G. 8,000. I thought the price was tremendously low considering he's playing the chiefs defense. Yes. I know they're better, but I, I think he's going to have opportunities to sling the rock. And you know, cause a lot of people are going to be saying things like you did, right? He, how many pass attempts, eight pass attempts, yeah. uh, certainly makes a lot of sense, but I, I, Andy Reid is not going to get beat in the super bowl by a team. That's going to run the ball down his throat. The pass will be mm. there. Jimmy Garoff, Andy Reid, he's getting old. <laughs> he's he's only got a couple. You know, he's not going to coach forever. Miami is the ideal location for. Uh, but seriously, Andy Reid, he looks great in Hawaiian shirt, big flowing shirt. One one, you have uh, this is the last thing I'm going to say. Sure, because I I don't love Jimmy G, but you got one opportunity to win a Super Bowl last me you might never come back Andy Reid all you got to do is make sure the game is in Jimmy Garoppolo's hands <laughs> make sure Raheem Mostert doesn't beat you that's so your goal I think Jimmy Garoppolo is going to get to throw the ball mm-hmm. and uh again I made this lineup to be a little bit different to be a little bit more skewed towards the Niners in a passing game so Jimmy Garoppolo 8000 let's let's effing go LFG Chris uh, G what do you got for your next guy I think I'm going to go with Sammy Watkins on this one here. And being that not just we've been talking about him here, but that uh, he led the Chiefs in receptions in the conference championship. Uh, Seven receptions, 114 receiving yards and a touchdown. And I think Tyreek Hill and Kelsey are going to draw some defenders. So it's what's going to open him up. And I think he's pretty reliable and just by the DraftKings point per reception scoring alone, I think he can make a dent and pay off his, his tag easily at 7,000. Yeah. I'm also, I'm a uh, lockstep with you with uh, Sammy Watkins there 7,000. Maybe he doesn't have that seven catch one fourteen for a touchdown, but I, I think he still has a solid game. I really think they're going to do everything they can to stop Tyree kill. I think they're going to, they're going to double him. And I think that'll create opportunities for the other guys. Can, can I just start the campaign right now? Sure. Sammy Watkins is throwing a p- passing. I, touchdown I mean, and, the and, and Kramer Bowl. brings up a great point. It does feel like if anyone's involved in that kind of Go watch the tape. he's got a good arm. It, if, if anyone's throwing the pass on the chiefs, it's going to be Sammy Watkins. Yeah. What is that? There's always that, uh, it's usually how many people will throw a pass and they set it at two and a half. Right. Yeah. I mean, uh, there's going to be definitely it, that, that could be as high as three and a half. Yeah. With these te- anyway. Yeah. So I'm also, I'm also on Sammy Watkins there. 7,000. Who's your, uh, who's your fifth guy Kramer? Well, uh, staying with the 49ers again, very skewed towards the 49ers, Emmanuel Sanders. This man's price mm. is way too low. Right? Yeah. For, for all the same, I mean, Sammy Watkins, I agree. Also, cheap price, good value, but Emmanuel Sanders, uh, players play, and uh, this dude's a gamer. If there's one guy on this offense that I bet shows up, it's gonna be this guy. I, wa- I really wanted to get Debo Samuel in this lineup. I just couldn't afford it. Emmanuel Sanders. 
if Jimmy Garoppolo is forced to have one of those days where he has to sling the rock, he's going to lean on Kittle and Sanders. So for for 5,200, okay. I'm really liking this lineup, Sean. Yeah, Emmanuel Sanders has some uh, big game playoff experience that could uh, that could really make a difference. So, yeah, I mean, plus he's just good. Like that dude's he's just a veteran. You know where he's gonna be. You know he can catch the ball. Debo Samuel is he's super athletic and interesting, but very unproven, especially long term and in the playoffs. Uh, Chris, who's your fifth guy? Yeah, and also Debo Samuel's like Kramer said, way too expensive, and I had to. Uh, copy Kramer somewhere here and I'm glad we're all lockstep with our lineups here this is awesome because I'm going Emmanuel Sanders as well <laughs> and here's why yeah not just the price tag but uh and he did have zero receptions for with one target in the NFC title uh, title game excuse me but get that out of the way uh he does have the big game resume um with uh the one against the Cardinals he had that huge catch from Big Ben and oh, yeah. I think yeah, I think he could at least have some big catches like that if they're trying to catch up or even win the game, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I could totally see that. I actually had room to put Emmanuel Sanders in my Whoa. fifth spot, but I'm not going to for oh, the sake okay. of being contrarian, being interesting and really taking a shot at winning this GPP. That's short for a guaranteed prize pool in the DFS, a.k.a. <laughs> Daily Fantasy Sports World. Oh, uh, which former Eagles made it to your <laughs> roster? No, this guy, okay. not a former Eagle, at least not that I know of. But, okay, you can't put Mostert in your lineup because it's so square and he's not going to have a career game back-to-back, -back, right? Coleman, <laughs> you can't, you can't, I mean, maybe you could, but I, I'm not going to. Oh, you're throwing the burrito dart? Yeah. Give me Matt Burita oh, nice. at thirty two hundred dollars with Coleman and his shoulder. Uh, if I was a coach, even if he can play, do you really trust him handling the ball? A fumble? I mean, it's going to be really hard. No, to carry I, li the ball I, I like that. Shoulder. I have a lineup with Burita, and I'm going to also I'm also going to tip my hand, but I think I could see myself. Uh, Doing a little uh, Matt Breda first touchdown sprinkle. So I actually, this is a good question for Chris. Maybe he doesn't know the answer, but I was reading something that alluded to the fact that for these, for the Super Bowl, they expect this, this showdown. I, I don't know if it, I think it's, a, I'm guessing a bigger pool of people. They expect it to be much more skewed chalk and they expect, uh, you definitely need to play instead of that one to two kind of darts that you're going to need to have solid, a solid three, uh, contrarian players. I mean, do you think that is this a bigger pool? And do you think that uh, that's the case? Well, the the pool, honestly, if you're looking, depending on the the tournament, it's the exact same. I I'm not looking right at the Millie Maker one right now, but even if it were, it's everyone to. It's a really limited player pool. So basically, the the amount of contrarian plays you're going to need, you'd first need the contrarian play to do something. And with that said, say you have that, there's going to be X amount of people who do still have that. And there's going to be the people who are max entering the tournament. So likelihood that you're going to share the top prize or any prize for that matter up there is a lot higher than winning it outright. But needing something like that i wouldn't say you'd need three contrarian that's that's a little bit much but hey if that's how the game flow goes and you happen to have it then sure but yeah other so than there's, that, i wouldn't go chasing the craziness yeah Sean, i have a blake bell kyle juice a use check <laughs> lineup so yeah fuck it i mean they're only these millionaire ones are only ten dollars the entry and uh the pro uh, the um the cap is set at 470 thousand entries there's there's one that of mine i i'm probably not gonna play <laughs> maybe i could talk you into splitting one craver the entry fee is fifty three hundred dollars the prize they're giving away two million but there's only 400 entries listen <sighs> i i mean yeah i just you know i'm, I'm flush with DraftKings bucks <laughs> i can be talked into a let's situation. see all right so all we got to do is get to 73rd out of uh out of 400 we could easily do that, and we're catching eight thousand. Talk about an interesting way to spend the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sean. All right, Where we, we might at? have to do that. Figure out how to get fifty three hundred dollars in DraftKings. <laughs> <laughs> and and just go all fucking in. Okay, last last guy, Kramer. Who do you got? I'm up. Yep. 
Well, I, I do I do think there's an angle here where the Kansas City does work the running back. I think that's – I do think Reed's going to look to play that angle in this game. And I had, I didn't have the money to put Mr. Williams in here. So, you know what I did? Mr. Shady McCoy, 1,400. Really? Andy Reed, trust the man. Do you think he'll be involved in the Super Bowl at all? I mean – you think he brought Shady out to Kansas <laughs> City to not be involved in the Super Bowl? It it does seem he's very... on record saying that he trusts that man. He trusts that man. I don't know. He's fourteen hundred. I had two thousand. Here we are. Shady McCoy, fourteen hundred. But he's still listed as. I don't know. He. <laughs> I might have to pivot if he's yeah. not going to play. But uh, no, he's an interesting play at fourteen hundred dollars. I. The uh, there is room behind Damian Williams for some other running back to kind con- maybe maybe Darwin Thompson. Well, that's the pivot, and he's yeah. he's within my budget. But Shady McCoy is more fun. Okay, Chris, who do you have for your final DK player? Well, there's no Anthony Ferkser, uh, <laughs> but <laughs> however, there is Blake Bell, and I feel like there's a little bit of a narrative in that the touchdown he had against Houston uh, Houston uh, was the very first one of his career and I think he's going to continue with a second one in the Super Bowl and he's only <laughs> 800 bucks and I think that would be one way of getting different and if it happens with some garbage touchdown or even a you know especially necessary touchdown which most of them are uh, he you know could pay off well and not only that you want to go real deep on uh, to throw a touchdown props Blake Bell, of course, Sean, was the quarterback down there at Oklahoma. Oh, my God. So not only did you throw wow. out. You, you're That's trying to sell it short. Yes, it's not Ferkser, but it is the Bell Dozer <laughs> for 800. And he used to be a quarterback, Sean, so maybe he's the sneaky he throws the, the, the jump pass. Maybe yeah. he throws a jump pass to oh, Kelsey. Man. Yeah, you got – jeez. I wish I would have had him in my lineup. Oh, maybe he throws the reverse pass to Mahomes. That's maybe oh. – Oh, that is sources, onions. Sources close to the situations now reporting. I'm looking very closely <laughs> at a Blake Bell to throw a touchdown. Or throw. and maybe – because they're, they're only $10, these lineups. I'm going to get – I'm going <laughs> to throw a bunch of them in there. But uh, – Sean, put I, the cards on the table. I, re- yeah. I replenished the account this – this morning (laughs) Blake Bell in the captain's chair there's always there's always part of me (laughs) that thinks put uh, put like a low money guy in the captain's seat and then you can ball out for the rest of the guys um and and if Blake Bell had a touchdown maybe two all right that's probably crazy for my flex spot it's also contrarian not as super contrarian as Blake Bell but Give me uh give me McCole Hardman. Mm. Now this green or uh, this uh San Francisco defense has struggled with the speed and uh again, I think there is uh, you can kind of compare the Chiefs Ravens game to this uh Chiefs 49ers game because Baltimore kind of a similar team to the 49ers in a bunch of ways and uh Hardman had two catches for 97 yards. One was an 83-yard touchdown. I think this could be a game where he goes off and again, I, I think if you're the 49ers defensive coordinator, you're saying Tyree kill is not beating us, nope. right? You're not letting that deep ball happen. You're not, you're going to roll double coverage to him. If you get picked apart with Hardman or, or Kelsey or some of these guys underneath, so be it. But I think Hardman has the speed to really break out and, uh, and, and bust something open for you big here. So yeah, give me, give me Hardman there to round things out. He's only 2,200 bucks. I think you I really like the idea that you can play him and Robinson for like a combined like what is it 5000 where you can Yeah, Robinson's 3900 so yeah you can, can kind be- of like put load two bullets in the chamber and still have a shitload of cash to load up a pretty stud filled rest of the lineup and just hope one of those guys catches that long touchdown That's the dream one of those guys <laughs> one of those guys catching a super long touchdown any other uh, any other thoughts, Chris, on the uh, on the Super Bowl or any other bets you like? Do you have big plans for the Super Bowl? Uh, just gonna go and hang out with my family back in Fresno, California. <laughs> so nothing super exciting there. Shout out to Fresno, man. My yeah, wife's family know, is up there. But uh, besides that, I did like your mention of uh, the use check uh, touchdown. I 
I'm going to chase that somewhere and it's probably either at least going to be in a lineup, but yeah, he's, he's proven himself uh, earlier in the season. So if, if not Blake bell, then uh use check. <laughs> Love but it. That's about it. Yeah. Check out my articles at sports gambling and uh, hit me up on Twitter at Topher squints. Hell yeah. Make sure you do that. And uh, thanks as always, Chris, for calling in. Good luck with the Super Bowl. Thanks, you too, guys. I appreciate it. Good times as always with uh, Chris Giordani. Love what he's doing over on sportsgamblingpodcast.com. We're a local business that's growing. You know, little guys disrupting the marketplace. Reminds me of our good pals over at propswap.com. Propswap just started out with a simple idea like, hey, I want to sell my sports ticket. Someone else wants to buy it. Let's create the marketplace. PropSwap did that all season long. Uh, PropSwap customers have been finding some of the best odds in the world. One man, one man's trash is another man's treasure. And a lot of times it's, it's not trash at all. It's just a guy trying to hedge. He's, he's just trying to get a little guaranteed money. And then you're getting on the flip side, you're getting a much better price this week. A guy uh, looking to get in the, on the chiefs bought a uh, chief super bowl ticket with a collect amount of $2,800 that sold on prop swap for $1,500. So $1,500. And if they win, you're getting $2,800 back. Those odds are minus 115, And that's a uh, pretty sweet KC money line. Uh, you know, that's going to be tough to match. And that's what's uh, that's, what's fun about PropSwap.com. You can find bets that you can't get anywhere else. And uh, prices, really. That's what you're buying. You're buying, Ryan, they say, don't bet the team, bet the number. And you get the best numbers over at PropSwap.com. And if you use promo code SGP, you take a screenshot of you using it, send that in, podcast at sportsgamblingpodcast.com. You get a free Lock Dog Tees t shirt. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that wasn't enough. It should just be the free t shirt. But. On top of the free t-shirt, you get 100% deposit bonus up to $100. No rollover required, just $100 extra. Void where prohibited. Go to PropSwap.com, promo code SGP. Kramer, besides DFS, uh, we're going to be doing the rest of the Super Bowl week. We're going to be, tomorrow night, we're going to be taping our Chiefs preview podcast. Then we're going to be doing a 49ers preview podcast. Then we're going to be announcing our official pick. Jesus. Doing all the other props that we haven't hit on. But Oh, my God. Uh, in, the, in the Chiefs episode, we'll, we'll throw out some Chiefs props. 49ers episode, we'll throw out some 49ers props. The final episode, an avalanche of props. But to wet our beaks, to get a little, a little bit of taste, a little bit of that Super Bowl mojo, that Super Bowl action. Thought it'd be fun if we gave out some of the uh, some of our favorite novelty props. Kramer, so, uh, Sean, what's off. a novelty prop? Well, they're they're ones that are involved in the coin toss, off the field, nas- the national anthem. Uh, MyBookie.ag has a, a, an insane amount of wild props, including like you you got butt cleavage uh, for mm. J Lo and uh, what's the other gal's name? Shakira. Shakira. <laughs> Will they twerk? Ah, Uh, What color will their hair be? Demi Lovato's hair. Demi Lovato's length of the national anthem. Number of players to be carted off the field. Oh, they have so much. And uh, I picked my five favorite Kramer. You have your five favorite for the novelty props. Kick things off. What are you doing? What do you like? Well, I think, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to stomp on it, but are you going to be throwing out a coin toss? Yes. Situation. Okay. Well, that, that's where I'm going to – it's the logical place to start. We're going to talk about the coin toss. We're going to talk about how Tails is in a dominating stretch. Tails is obviously going to win. We all know how heads is heavier. The head side is heavier. We all know the science. I actually did some research. First off, Tails is five and one in the last six. However, only yeah, twelve and twenty. That's what I just said only twelve and eight in the last twenty. Which what means do you mean only twelve and eight? Heads is due. Give me heads all day, baby. Heads has never been more due. And actually, uh, it's never been more due. Percy, you sound like the president. Percy Diaconis did a uh, did this like crazy research on the coin toss. There is some speculation that heads is heavier, but really, he no, said no. he said what matters more is. 
what side the coin is facing when they flip it. That has a greater uh, correlation to what the result will be. So if you can get a shot and now this is a tight squeeze, but if so you you're can, saying the bias is that if the, if it starts head on heads, is it's facing more, likely, up, to it's more likely to land back on. Okay. And if it lands on the ground and starts spinning on the side, the heavier head side is more likely to land then. So you get that bonus there as well. And the fact that heads is due. No, no, you're yeah. The, the heavier side goes face down. I don't know the way they yeah, explained yeah, yeah. it no, when no. the coin was. You're, you're right. You're right. You just you're wrong. No. And heads it, it is helps gonna hit. tails. They're gonna show off the nice beautiful head for the NFL 100 coin. Oh, you're right. That will be a nice coin. And no, the tails is the ugly thing. They're gonna want to show off the head side for the camera. That it will be facing heads up. The ref will flip it, and we'll already be. Not only did this is how your Super Bowl betting goes, right? You take your your nice cash you got from the Pro Bowl over. Yeah. Then you roll that into Super Bowl heads. Now you're starting to build some bankroll. You're starting to build some <laughs> momentum. You're you're rolling into the national anthem. So much going on. So I've, heads is mine. Kramer, what's your what's your second novelty prop? Well, I'm I'm still at the coin toss. Okay. Will Joe Montana oh. toss the coin? Why would Joe Montana not toss the coin? Well, but look at the pricing. Throw out the odds. It's plus two hundred on yes, minus three hundred on no. Is there? Do we know that he'll be there? No idea. Well, but, the- but uh, one of the creators of Play Balto is Joe Montana's son, Nick Montana. Okay. Maybe maybe I reach out to a uh, friend of the program, Play Balto, and be like, Nick, is your dad going to the Super Bowl? Is there a chance? He's going to be throwing a coin toss. I have two angles here. Either a, we know he's going to be there and part of the ceremony in which obviously he's tossing the coin. Yeah. Two, we don't, no one knows if he's even going to be at the game, at which point we obviously pound the minus 300 because he's not just going to randomly make his way on the field and toss the coin. So I think we need to learn. Is Joe Montana either even going to be there? I think this is one we can actually get some inside information and rob my book out of money, which uh, I'm sure they'll be thrilled about. Anyway, this is one that's tied to the national anthem. The national anthem again; they have adjusted lines on the national anthem. So, well, that that wasn't actually my problem. I threw that out there just to get oh, the the thought. Exercise. That was just a discussion. That okay. was just a discussion because then I did move to the the national anthem. Okay, and uh, I'm uh, I, I lost the number, Sean. I, I'm sorry, I didn't write it down. Let me pull it back up. But essentially, what I would one twenty three and a half. Oh is, no, I'm not. I'm not going to the square way to play <laughs> the national anthem, Sean. Okay. Will Demi Lovato's microphone be on a stand? Ooh. Yes, minus one eighty. No, plus one forty. Let me ask you, as someone who didn't research this, mm. what would your guess be? I would guess yes that she's she strikes me as a woman that would use the stand. She has used a mic stand and granted my research was purely just Googling shit. Mm -hmm. She's used a mic stand in exactly half of her national anthem, only half, which tells me I'm getting great value (laughs) on the no plus one forty. Well, here's the thing. I'm looking. I just Googled Demi Lovato national anthem. She at the uh, oh no Mayweather yeah. Mayweather McGregor no stand well and game that's, five uh, 2011 World Series stand stand uh, Grammys now that's a little different but stand so mm, that's interesting but you're right if it's a 50 50 proposition and you're getting plus 180 that is great value Kramer that is plus 140 oh plus 140 still plus and this is where I kind of jump into my creative box Sean. She's Demi Lovato. I understand she's going to want to do a classy job, but she's still going to want to be Demi Lovato. And that means she's going to want to move. She's going to want to like be able to move a little bit. I think the stand is, is a very, is a very rigid way to approach this. It's 2020. The country needs her. (laughs) The country needs to unite. The country. Demi Lovato not having a stand. The country needs her to be agile on the stage. She will not have a stand plus 140. Will now this one it's minus 300, but still it is such a lock. <laughs> 
sometimes you got to lay a little juice just for free money. And I highly recommend doing this over at my bookie. Will any team have a scoring drive less than the national anthem? Of course, of course, there's going to be a score less than two minutes. Of course. Yeah. A scoring drive. So basically anyone who starts yeah, the, no, the two minute right. drill, a turnover, a field goal, a, a punt return for a touchdown. There's so many scenarios where you can have a quick scoring drive, especially with these two teams minus 300. Yeah. It's a lot of juice, but it's a sure thing. Uh, it, you know, I wouldn't say sure thing, but I definitely, if you think there's going to be a lot of scoring, I think to think one of these teams will get a touchdown in a two minute drill to end the first half is very realistic. So I will, uh, I'll co-sign that. Oh, wow. I'm Sean, honored. Sean, uh, what do you think is more favored a player to take a knee during the national anthem or a player to raise a fist? I would have to say uh, a player to raise a fist is more likely. They're not doing the knee thing anymore. No. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh my God. You can get better. Minus 1200 on them. Uh, on a player raises a, uh, doesn't raise a, Oh, I'm sorry. Plus 700. Yes, you were right. Slightly. Okay. I, I went at the reverse way, but yeah, I, I, uh, I was surprised you can even bet on that. No, the, the NFL is not going to take someone acting out of turn. Well, right? if they, if they do raise the fist, they've will sent the, memos already. Will the director that's uh, controlling the Super Bowl will they actually tell them mm. to cut to, because you could raise a fist, but if you don't see it on TV, no one's ever going to know you're good luck collecting on that bet because they're, yeah, there's a how lot of, they know there's going to be a lot of cameras in the building, right? Yeah. And maybe you could take that and, and really state your case, but I think it would have to be on camera for these to pay out. And I just don't see them cutting over to a player kneeling, which they don't do anymore or a player raising a fist, which I think is slightly more likely, but I, I, I mean, I would just stay away from both these. There's, there's crazier long shots that are more fun uh, to take than that kind of stuff. I think. Yeah. What what are we doing next? Was that your third one or was that a discussion prop? Oh, I was just asking if you had seen that. <laughs> Where All right, how many props have you given out officially, Two. Kramer? Okay. Two. The coin toss will be tails. <laughs> yes. And Demi Lovato's mic will not be on a stand. <laughs> are you Do you need me to write Do you need me to write it down, Sean? No, no, I got it. All right. So now now let's give out your third novelty prop. All right. Number of players to be carted off oh, the field. Oh, you stole mine. Really? Yeah. No what way. Are, what are you taking? That there won't be someone carted off the field. Yeah. Under a half at minus 140. It's the Super Bowl. The adrenaline's <laughs> going to carry you off the side of the field. You're not letting them wave the card over. A player is not carted off like, the field in, in half of football games. No, not at all. Minus 140 is a huge the, value. So I was actually looking at the will the winner attend the the White House thinking, well, that's obvious, right? It, minus 500, but they're obvious. someone's going to go. If the Niners win, we know Bosa's oh, going to be dude. there. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, isn't it great how the Bosa family going just, all in on Trump? They just crush football and loving Trump. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm 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 with you, Kramer. I'm sorry, dude. I would have thought you would have done the the concussion. I I was leading to the concussion. <laughs> I have a question. Why do they? Now this sounds like I'm trying to do, try out a stand up fit, but seriously, why do they? <laughs> why do they have to pop up the tent every time? Yeah. Why is the tent just not set up? Do they think they're going to go through a whole game where no one's going to use the tent? And the tent not being set up is that somehow helpful that it's not set up? Just have the tent set up. So, all right. So theory one, it's blocking. It blocks fans view. All right. So then you're just being an asshole regardless. But that doesn't make sense. No, of course it doesn't make sense. So theory number two, uh, well, that's what Nick Saban did. <laughs> so, all right, here we are. I think you're right where it's just like, hey, this so is what, smart. Someone did it once. And then every no. <laughs> it's, it's like when we had coach Leach on and he was talking about how uh, the, the, the coaches will <laughs> like block their lips from being red and he goes I think just someone did it once and everyone copied it <sighs> all right we got a couple more a uh, couple more novelty props to go I'm a fun guy <laughs> I am a fun guy Ryan and you know how, why I'm fun because I got 
The Lawnmower 3.0, baby. Breaking news. This is a pubic service announcement from your good pals over at manscaped.com. Hear that hum? Yeah, that's me. Trimming my hedges, if you know what I'm saying. And by that, I mean eliminating all my unnecessary bush using the quiet stroke technology of the lawnmower 3.0 with a whopping 7,000 RPMs. Are you kidding me? This thing's premium. Wife loves it. She was just away on vacation coming back. Hey, I'll pick you up at the airport <laughs> and I'll treat you even more by trimming my pubes. And as if a wife doesn't love pubes, what, what wife doesn't love pubes? being trimmed and savings or partner whatever you're into get 20 percent off and free shipping with code sgp at manscaped.com what kind of partner wife whatever wouldn't want 20 percent off and free shipping promo code sgp manscaped.com who battery lasts up to 90 minutes <laughs> if, you're, if you're really hacking away in the jungle you need that 90 minute battery life i'll tell you that much and lawnmower 2.0, <laughs> it's easy. I know. Oh, 3.0. Can I handle it? Will I know where the gear shift is? Am I going to be overwhelmed? No. Same skin safe technology. No nicks. No cuts. Just a sweet, sweet trimmed bush. Manscaped.com. Promo code S G P. Realized I left the music going on the God damn it. Fucking wrong page. That was a great job, Sean. Don't melt Thank down. You. And uh, I've gotten, I feel like uh, there's been some compliments thrown, uh, thrown the way of the podcast in the five-star reviews. Uh, one guy recently said, believable boner pill reads mm -hmm. was one of his favorite parts <laughs> of the show. I'd like to see some similar love for the Manscaped reads because yeah. I feel like I go all out for the people as we're doing with these Super Bowl novelty props. Cream dog. What are you doing? What's your fourth novelty prop? Or is it a discussion? I'm going to have a vote. <laughs> well, uh, I, I don't, I don't want to be grim, but I saw this one and I'm like, well, I'm, I, I've already actually wagered on it. I didn't try to put a lot. I'm not trying to test any limits right now, but will a player be arrested or Ooh. how many players, number of players arrested in Miami after the game? I guess here's the catch in Miami. I assume they mean the surrounding area over a half plus 800. It's a fun at see. That's the fun long shot. I'd, I'd much rather take player to be arrested over plus a half at plus 800. Then this is the locker room the that's fist. brought you Kareem hunt. <laughs> this is the locker room. That's brought you Tyree kill. Yeah. And all those guys. This is the locker room that's brought you the stuff that Patrick Mahomes has done that we haven't found out about yet. Well, and what you have is a lot of the guys from Orlando. They were just there for the Pro Bowl. They're heading down to Miami, so it doesn't say, does it say a player that plays in the Super Bowl or just an NFL player? It, it does not. I, I'm gonna. It's implied. Is it? It's implied. Uh, I'm gonna take a shot at the over, Sean. I'm yeah. gonna take a stab. You know, novelty that. props is all about. You know, locking in stone clo cold conservative, just just creepers, just equity funds like tails, things like Demi Lovato not having a stand, and then you take those long shots. You jump on that. There's going to be over over a half of a person arrested. There will be someone arrested after the game. I I believe that it's Miami. Or it why is, Miami. is this only a half? That is it's uh, Miami. Have you seen cocaine cowboys? <laughs> Have you ever tried cocaine? It's a, if you, would, if you tried it, Sean, you would want to be in Miami. Tell every, to salsa music. <laughs> tell everyone the story about that time. You won like $8,000 on the Miami dolphins money line. Oh yeah. Well, cause we saw a guy, we were hanging out the Westgate sports book, which we will be uh, hanging out at uh, come March madness. So if you guys, again, hashtag, uh, Hashtag DGENs only. Where are you guys at for March Madness? Hashtag DGENs only. <laughs> Hit us up. If you're going to be in Vegas for March Madness, let's hang out. Let's get drunk. Uh, but yeah, I was super tuned up and I saw a guy who was like, 
this is 10 a.m. He's wearing like a Miami Dolphins jersey. He's jumpy as hell. I think it was well, a Tommy Bahama shirt. Like yeah, straight but up. But he but he had like some sort of Miami gear on. He had those like sunglass wraparound thing going on. Just looked like right off uh, like a Miami Vice extra, and was just so out of place. They were playing the Patriots at home. This was when they were really bad. And I go, yeah, I'm riding with this guy. And I think it was like <laughs> plus 600 uh, for the Dolphins to win outright. Threw a nice little stack on that. And, uh, oh, man, it was just so awesome. It was the game they debuted the Wildcat. Yeah. And old genius Bill Belichick didn't know what to do. Oh, God. <laughs> so awesome. Getting to my fourth novelty prop, Troy Aikman. Mentions his Super Bowl experiences. <laughs> yes, <laughs> minus two fifty. Are you kidding me? What? Are you kidding me? Much like myself, who loves to brag and tell stories, that would be like. <laughs> oh. Someone should tweet at uh, oh. at Bet My Bookie. Will Sean mention uh, <laughs> mention winning a ton of money on the podcast? And the answer is yes, because you know. It's gonna have. How has Troy Aikman not mentioned Sean, the Super Bowl? Sean, when I uh, the the place where I got that Sean Taylor video was some Twitter feed, like NFL uh, NFL history or something like that, and uh, there was a clip of Brett Favre and uh, someone else and Troy Aikman competing in a skills competition. And they showed Troy Aikman throwing it as hard as he can, as hard as he can, and it goes like 65 yards. Brett Favre and, and Drew Bledsoe that was the other guy, just casually, like easily out throwing him by 10 yards. Poor Troy Aikman. This is a good bet, Sean. I like why is it only 250? I know that's it has to hit. How does he not mention the Super Bowl? Uh, it's, He's how, at the how Super you, Bowl. How do you define uh, this one's a tricky one? Right. There in some of these novelty props, read the fine print because things get tricky, but he's definitely going to mention Super Bowl experiences. Kramer, what's what's your last novelty prop? What channel is the Super Bowl on? Fox. Okay. So maybe you'd say that they're the most likely to 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 use like clip bait and show it on the Super Bowl. Oh yeah. Video of Andy Reid doing the punt pass or oh, kick. Oh man! Will they show it on air? I don't think they will actually, but I I hope they do. I hope they do because that is, and if you go to sportsgamblingpodcast dot com, if you've never seen the video, it is amazing. It's Andy Reid competing in the punt pass and kick contest. He looks like he looks like two children. <laughs> hey, have you ever seen those? And like in cartoons where kids would stand on the like stand on each other's necks or whatever and like wear a trench coat to get into a <laughs> rated R movie. And like that's how big Andy Reid is compared to the other children. How do you not show it? How does it not come up? If it was NBC, I would say this is a lock at plus three hundred. I just have a feeling Colin. But Joe Ford and uh, yeah, Joe and Troy aren't funny at all. But they think they're funny. That is a disgusting act. And if there's one thing that I, I feel like Joe, what's the price at? Joe Joe Buck brings this to the the production meetings. Like, hey guys, this would be funny. <laughs> Plus three hundred for yes, minus okay. five hundred. See now that's no. a fun that's a fun dog that I'll ride. <clears throat> I, I don't think it'll happen, but I want it to happen so they much. They have so much time to fill. Yeah, they got to talk about it. They got to talk about it, right? Yeah. Where, where did I, I get a Google? Where did Andy Reid do the pump? Maybe it's in Miami. Any chance? No, I think it was. Uh, he grew up in L.A. Oh, but maybe you're right. Maybe it, maybe it actually took place uh, somewhere else. Oh, God. I mean, all right. So now I pull up the video. I have to. It, the kid behind him in line is looking at his ass. <laughs> How could he miss it? <laughs> it's gigantic. It's right next to his. All right. Sean, where, what's your fifth one? Super Bowl MVP goes to the quarterback. Mm. Yes, minus one seven. That's a novelty. It it was technically located in the novelty props. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm, uh, you know, going against the grain here as far as the rules. But I, I think if San Francisco wins, I don't know. I, I feel like you're covered for a lot of scenarios here. The only the only scenario you're not covered for is for. Joey Bosa maybe to go crazy Nick or Bosa. yeah I get the Bosa bros mixed <laughs> up uh for Nick Bosa to go crazy maybe Kittle gets it but I think if San Francisco wins they're gonna do it passing the ball and they'll they would give it then to Jimmy G 
I think uh, it this, could be. A, I mean, if obviously if, if Mostert Super has Bowl, 200 yards and four touchdowns, he's getting the MVP. Yeah, but I just don't think I don't think they can do that again. So I think if the Chiefs win, it's a lock that Mahomes. And yeah. if San Francisco wins, I think it's over 70 percent chance that uh, you know that Jimmy G ends up being the the MVP. So I think actually there is some value here at yes minus 170. Uh, I like it. I like last, it. uh, last, uh, last six, it's been three quarterbacks and three non quarterbacks. But if you go to the last 10 Super Bowls, seven out of the 10 Super Bowls, it's, uh, been a, uh, quarterback has won the S. It, they've a, won it 29 times. If it's close, they default. So and go you're to the telling su- me the Super Bowl MVP that's a minus 170 now. Yeah. Oh, wow. I love my Mahomes plus 140. Can no, I, I throw mean, plus out? One, it, Mahomes Super Bowl MVP is now down to minus 110. So that's a great price. Kramer. One last, uh, can I throw out another discussion? Sure. Flash, if I had a six, this probably would have been it. Uh, number of times 49ers rough the passer. Ooh. Why is this? A, uh, how did the hot take machine create a story out of this? Oh, you know what the 49ers should do? They should be dirty and send a message early in the game. While I agree with that philosophy, yeah. You know, I'm on the I'm on the mean fields, the mean pitches of the youth soccer. Do I let the girls know? Yeah, let make sure you let them know they're there. They know that means elbows and shoulders. All right, I I don't. While I think the Niners might do that, I don't think that the Niners are not a team that get called for a lot of personal fouls like that. And I know it's this is one of those. Well, Mahomes is the quarterback that can draw a foul. I think the 49ers defense gets plenty of respect and I'm shocked to see the under one and a half at minus one sixty. I wow. think that's a stone cold lock. They're absolutely not getting called for two roughing the passers. Not two. Maybe one. The but NFL two is insane. if the if there's one thing the NFL does well is they stay out of the way when it comes to those types of penalties and big games. Uh they might get involved accidentally with some PI. But I think from from the personal foul standpoint, they're not going to throw any cheap ones. You're not going to see someone slap his shoelaces and get a yellow flag thrown. So I'm really surprised to see this price. I love minus 160 for the under. Love it. All right, man. All right. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. Ryan, hopefully I got you excited for the Super Bowl. Yep. The Super Bowl week yep. on the Sports Gambling Podcast Network. Get involved with the Squares Contest again. Uh, sgpn.io slash sb squares and that you can get a uh, if you're running one for your uh your super bowl party you got a printout grid nice little uh kramer did a really awesome job putting together a sweet grid there and of course has the information on how to send in your review so you can be involved in our super bowl squares competition where we're giving away one thousand dollars thank you <laughs> as always for tuning in to the sports gambling podcast and for Sports Gaming Podcast. I'm Sean, second of Money Green, and he is Ryan. Shout out to Manscaped. Loving that extra 20%. Kramer, let <laughs> it ride.